Hey everyone, I read Brave New World by Aldous Huxley and I'm not quite sure I got the correct message out of this book. This is one of those dystopian novels that was written in the 1930s that shows a completely different society to ours. And in this society, the world basically decided to go with medicine machine and happiness. They are working on a stability and having a super stable society that is working towards consumerism and being stable in their positions. How do they do that? With a lot of conditioning. So babies aren't born anymore and aren't had by families, but they are made in a factory. During the process, they are really conditioned to be who they are going to be. They are conditioned for either hot climates, cold climates. They are conditioned for being in their caste and really disliking other castes. And the result is that they like their jobs and they are happy with what they are and where they are. So the society is heavily focused on giving everyone a place for the stability of the society. And everybody knows where they are and they know what they have to do. There are a lot of other factors that have gotten rid of and changed, but I don't want to go into too much detail because it would take forever. Opposing the civilized community is the savage. It's a young man who was brought up in a reservation where the people have not been civilized for multiple reasons, mostly financial. And he's brought back to the civilized world by a man and introduced to the civilized society and everybody wants to study him and meet him because he's something new and exciting. So this is basically what we have. A society that is very heavily relying on being happy with condition and use of drugs and everybody belongs to everybody and consumerism is king and this. On the opposite we have the savage who more or less represents our core values, religion, art and yeah, not everybody belongs to everybody. You're monogamous. And these two societies we see opposing and clashing. And I'm not sure which society Aldous Huxley wants us to like more. Because what I noticed is that in both societies we have people who are outsiders and they don't fit in properly and so they try to fit in and they want to belong. But because they are different in some way, they don't. So that didn't change. Reading this book made me think a lot about conditioning or what our values are, what is good, what is evil, what is bad, what is right, what is wrong, all these things. And I'm not sure which is better or if it's different, because what I see in the novel is two different societies who have conditioned their members in different ways. In the civilized world, they went along at the conditioning really guided and scientific, whereas in the savages world, the conditioning comes through the surrounding, the behavior, everyone else. If you're different, you don't fit in. So you behave like everyone else. That influences your values and beliefs. And so for me, these were just two societies that were conditioned in different ways. And who's to say which one is better or not? In the civilized society, we have everyone happy with what is going on and they know how to live there. They don't feel unhappy with the situation they're at. If that happens, there is a way out. But only the alpha people who are the smartest that need to be less conditioned in and know more about how the world works, they have the problem that they want to go further and want to explore further, which is not good for the society. But they are not killed. They are just moved out of the society to live the way in a way that benefits them. Whereas in the savages world, there is no way for the savage to fit in because he is an outsider. He is not from that community. He is never let in. And there's no other place for him to go, as the novel shows. And another thing that really, really annoyed me, and which is probably the main reason why I cannot think that the savage's world is the better one and the better society. Throughout the novel, the savage meets one of the civilized women and he really starts to like her. He thinks he loves her. He even says he loves her. But she is one of those civilized people who belongs to everyone. And there is pretty much promiscuity as part of the society. And the savage doesn't like that. So he ends up shouting at the woman. So basically we have a society that is like our society where if a woman doesn't fit into a man's picture of what he wants her to be, it's her fault instead of his. And he's blaming her and ends up really treating her badly and savagely towards the end. And I didn't like that. Honestly, I'd rather live in a conditioned, civilized world where I'm happy, I don't have any disease and I don't need to worry about everything. 
I'm not sure if I'm getting this book correctly. Let's talk in comments. I know I didn't talk much about the plot, but the plot wasn't the interesting part of this book. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.